like to light be strange. So please, before we start, grab some cookies and some tea and hope you enjoy. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Okay. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Indeed, it I is. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Hello. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Oh, okay. So where's my photo then? What's this? There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Hmm. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. Okay. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Hmm. Where? Ooh. That's cute. For the food. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Don't want to eat? I'll always be where the food is. <laughs> oh, hello. I know it's Again. Kind of simple, so, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist but you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I'm lucky. It's surreal. I'm lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. 
She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Eh, uh, Jefferson fooled us. Not your fault. I tried to tell you. Well, tried to tell him, but... Did find out later that Jefferson was... Was a big reason there, so... Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Strange weather. Maybe it's karma. Hmm. Maybe it's karma. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Okay. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Can I talk to you? Hello. Oh. Let me talk to you. Really have to be that far away? Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Thank you. Oh, this paper. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Let's see. A noted photographer and teacher arrested for... Homicide and kidnapping. Mm -hmm. So is that Mark Jefferson? Doesn't really look like him. Oh well. Like I do not understand art. Hmm. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Why do I have to be so far away to talk to them? Oh my words. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Okay. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Oh, hello. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. <laughs> okay. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Hmm. Yep. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say 
Congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Thank you. Ah, here's my po photo. <laughs> And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Hmm. Uh oh. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. That cannot be good. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Oh, my God. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Uh. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Do we have to go have to back in time again? Hmm. I assume maybe we can go back in time with that. How much would you pay for that? I don't know. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. But how? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. You turn you turn, okay. Ah, it just. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd oh, love to no ask works. you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but. <laughs> oh, you're Max Caulfield, oh, right? Words. Tell me what kind of instant <laughs> camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Oh, hey. I totally <sighs> am into your photography. Not right now. Focus, Max. Chloe needs you now. Oh my gosh, can I pick your brain for an hour? Thanks, but I I'm busy. Please leave me alone, please. Zen, Max, Zen. There's nobody here but you. Nobody. Breaking apart. 
What am I doing to time? What are we doing? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Tear it. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? Ooh. I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Uh. Ooh, both of them are it. Uh, da 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 da. Any money more? Whatever. <laughs> Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Eh. Yeah. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. So he killed Victoria now. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he, he burned my diary. Always That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <sighs> How can we get away now? Please! Oh, no. Don't do this! Um... I promise, this final no. dose won't hurt. I can do something? I 
don't think I can let him poke me with that thing, so... Um, I promise. This what final dose do? won't hurt. Uh, what? What? Uh. Damn. Oh no. How is this gonna end? No, David! No! I think we need to go back and try to warn him. <laughs> I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> oh no, come on, David, no! <sighs> Something so he won't get hit. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Uh, <laughs> should I just oh. play out? I don't know. Jesus, David Madsen. He's out cold. <sighs> Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? No. Okay. <laughs> Oh my words, what should I do? Maybe something else I can do instead of... No? David, watch out! So that's How? the first How did thing. you know that? For one last request. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Turn off the lights, some water, one last picture, play some music. Um, hmm. Some water, turn off the lights. And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. How is that gonna help, though? I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Hmm. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Ooh, okay, so he's not happy with me. <laughs> Maybe try what? and he's pull a bit more away. <laughs> David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Oh, I just don't think it's gonna happen, right? Yeah. That's what she surprised me when he wanted to hit me. <laughs> I promise you. Alright. No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. 
Can I... Can I please ask you for one... So... Water music... Music... I don't think Dan can hear me, but we're Could trying... please at least play some music? I don't know how that's going to So be. I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. And maybe you won't be able to hear it's me. It's a nice trip. Oh, I like that. <laughs> now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm going slightly straight to the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure oh, I'm going to stay instead. And I'm a little bit cuckoo. Hold it! What? Huh. Hold it! What? Hmm. Is there something I can do? Hmm. Okay, I guess we have to try something else. I promise. Oh, this is a hard one. Some water, I guess. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Hmm. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the oh, fuck no, up, no, okay? Oh, no, 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 Need to wait a little bit more. <laughs> David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh. David Madsen. Yeah. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing. Uh. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. <laughs> Sorry, Madsen. What did work? You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Uh, oh crap! My words. No. no. Jefferson, it's over. You are not David, going to stop. Take me. that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> you are not going this. to stop me. <laughs> Oof! What? That? Oh Lord, it Max! Eventually. <laughs> are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <laughs> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. Uh, he burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, 
No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Wait, so we are gonna drive a car now? Good God. It's a studio. Uh -oh. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. You suspected everybody. Uh, I never did. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. Aww. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. Uh, Kate was bullied. Eh, uh, it's been nice. Me too. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. She learned from you. We're a great team. She learned from you. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. I know it wasn't easy. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I was pissed off. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Um, tell the truth, hide the truth. No, oh, tell the truth. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. Oof. This isn't happening. It can't. No, oh, God. Oh, that's right. Jefferson Not Chloe. killed her. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you- Yes, I- I saw her. I- I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. 
How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Oh, wow. Ouch. I think it's about time we get to war and then go back in time again. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Oh, boy. I didn't expect him to kill him either. Alright, so we need to go back in time again. My God. But what do I tell Joyce? What? I've seen so many people die this week. Now Jefferson. I feel numb. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today. So, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I, I, I hope I see you next time. Forever. Bye bye. <laughs>